Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is OP speaking, and tonight uh, I will answer to the bogus law uh, answer. Uh, just for him, I show some different cashers. It's a long cashier here with a copper. Here it is a bigger long cashier. It is for my Slayer Exciter, which was which worked very well. This is my big cashier, Swiss cashier with uh, white and red. Uh, 20 centimeter diameter with 50 turns separated in two with a tap in the middle to test and all these cashers are working at different frequency but to answer um, Bogus slow tonight I try my very flat cashier you see this one here always the same system no problem and he asked me if I can get this TFL light working at a distance from the battery so I put some distance of the battery with the wrapping here okay so uh, I will put now the power we see everything works probably it is disturbing the camera because all this interference are always and you see it is not regular it is very special I show you just the uh, scope. Upper, upper is the ground scope. Each time I approach or I go away, it is not the same. Hmm, terrific. Okay, now the problem is I will put this CFL. It is out of the lamp, and I will touch here something, and you see it light. But as soon as I put my hand away, everything change. Okay. I put it here, put here, and it goes away. But if now I go on the battery and I put a connection here, the light is on, and I let it on the battery and it stay on. I hope you understand what I see because this spark gap is always very much disturbing the camera. Okay, you see the distance now? About uh, one meter. And in the middle, it doesn't work. It's light, but as soon as my capacitance gets away, it is finished. I put on the battery, get the light. Mm -hmm. So it is not a stray capacitance between the cacher and the battery. But probably, as I supported in my previous video, through the wires. Mm -hmm. I love to think. A lot of experiments. It's very fantastic, this system. Okay, I hope it can help. And good night at all.